The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. High-precision air-based missiles have hit 21 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration, including command posts of the Ukrainian Nazi formations Kraken and Azov near Kharkov. Operational tactical, army and unmanned aviation have hit 15 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration, ammunition and fuel depots of the Ukrainian armed forces near Dolina and Slavyansk, Donetsk People's Republic, have been destroyed. The attacks have resulted in the elimination of up to 240 nationalists and up to 39 weapons and military equipment, including one OSA AKM anti-aircraft missile system, 10 tanks and infantry fighting vehicles, 3 BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launchers, 7 artillery mounts and motors, and 17 special vehicles. Fighter aircraft have shot down one Su-25 aircraft of the Ukrainian Air Force near Lubomirovka, Nikolaev region. Russian air defense means have hit seven Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles near Odessa, Kamashovaka, Popasnaya, Zolotoya, Kudryshovka in Lugansk People's Republic, Yaravaya in Kharkov region, as well as Verkhnetoretskaya in Donetsk People's Republic overnight. Missile troops and artillery have hit 131 command posts, 146 artillery and motor batteries at firing positions, as well as 579 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration. In total, 186 Ukrainian aircraft and 129 helicopters, 1,048 unmanned aerial vehicles, 327 anti-aircraft missile systems, 3,373 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 460 multiple launch rocket systems, 1,752 field artillery and motors, as well as 3,350 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation. We note that the inflow of foreign mercenaries to Ukraine to take part in combat operations against the Russian armed forces has virtually dried up since the beginning of May. According to the data of our disposal, the total number of foreign mercenaries in Ukraine has now been almost halved from 6,600 to 3,500. At the same time, the number of mercenaries and combat units of the Ukrainian armed forces and National Guard in Donbass has decreased by orders of magnitude. Hundreds of foreign mercenaries in Ukraine were eliminated by Russian long-range precision weapons shortly after their arrival, while they were still undergoing pre-training and coordination of tactical units. But most of the mercenaries are destroyed in war zone due to their low level of training and lack of real combat experience. Separately, I would like to point out that the commanders of Ukrainian armed forces and National Guard units, which included mercenaries, are not sparing foreigners in their efforts to reduce losses of their servicemen. Captured mercenaries tell inter that they are the first to be sacrificed. Due to the Kyiv regime's silencing of the losses and the absence of remains, relatives of the mercenaries in their countries of residence simply do not know about their deaths. Faced with a real combat situation and heavy losses among servicemen of the Ukrainian armed forces, the National Guard and foreigners, a significant number of mercenaries prefer to leave Ukrainian territory as soon as possible, but the Kyiv regime prevents them from going abroad in every possible way. Let me remind you that under international humanitarian law, mercenaries are not combatants and the best that awaits them is criminal liability. The Kyiv regime's urgent attempts to guarantee the mercenaries legal protection by including them into the military units of the Ukrainian armed forces or the National Guard or by issuing them with fresh Ukrainian passports will not save any of them.